Forget Jurassic Park. Forget the roaring T-Rex and chomping velociraptors. Imagine a crocodile with the crushing jaws of a dinosaur. A flying reptile with a wingspan wider than a house. A predator so stealthy it could stalk you in broad daylight, and you wouldn't know until it ripped the heart from your chest. These weren't movie monsters. They were real. They ruled the planet, and their reign was a living horror show. We will start with Jacolopterus. Three words, giant sea scorpion. Yes, this eight-foot-long creature lived in water and had sharp claws. The truth is that all Eurypterids are very scary, and this whole post could be about how scary they look. A lot of them look eerily like the face huggers from the alien films. They give people nightmares. Jacolopterus had bodies that were broken up into segments and many specialized arms, some of which had spikes. There were springs in their claws that let them grab fish as they went by. The biggest one had an 18-inch cooked claw. It is known that smaller sea scorpions have crawled ashore to mate and even shed their shells. Picture coming home from swimming and finding the molt of one of these monsters on the shore. Moving away from the shore, you feel fear and suspicion already. Then you see a shape in the rough water. Next, we have Megalodon. This 59-foot-long shark lived and hunted in the same waters as Liviat and Melville. It had massive, seven-foot-wide jaws containing five rows of around 276 compressed, blade-like teeth that were made for cutting and grasping powerful prey. Sharks had skeletons made of cartilage that are not typically preserved in the fossil record, and so the jaws of Megalodon and a few trace fossils are all paleontologists have to build their hypotheses. The body shape of a megalodon is likely similar to that of a larger and more robust great white shark. If megalodon exhibited ambush hunting behavior like great white sharks, it would have taken prey by surprise from below and made precision strikes to immobilize its prey with an amazingly strong bite. Now we will discuss Giganotosaurus. The length of the Giganotosaurus was 43 feet, 3 feet longer than the Tyrannosaurus rex. Its head was 5.2 feet long had 64 teeth that were compressed and sharpened, and was 8 inches long. These teeth were made to cut through skin, but they couldn't break bone like Tyrannosaurus teeth could. Giganotosaurus lived in Argentina during the Cretaceous period. It was linked to the African Carcharodontosaurus, which was about the same size. There is some evidence that Giganotosaurus hunted with other animals in groups, and that the groups went after big sauropods. It would be the only theropod that hunted sauropods like this. It's also interesting that the lower jaw was slightly widened, which lets it handle smaller foods. For sure, Giganotosaurus would have loved to eat the meat of some silly two-leg animals if it had the chance. Next, we have Titanobo. For those of you with aphidiophobia, this one's for you. Titanobo was a 42-foot-long snake that lived during the Paleocene Epoch. It likely hunted much like crocodiles do, lurking and partially submerged at the water's edge so that it could ambush thirsty, unsuspecting animals. It would strike from the water and wrap itself around its prey, delivering a crushing death. It lived in the rainforests of South America, where temperatures were warmer than in the tropics today. This allowed the cold-blooded reptiles to grow larger than modern reptiles can. This snake would have Indiana Jones trembling in his fedora. Lastly, we will talk about Sarcosuchus. Sarcosuchus was a 40-foot-long, 10-ton, crocodile-like reptile from the Cretaceous era that lived in what are now Africa and South America. Any predator that can move between land and water is even harder to escape when it wants to eat you. It had a six-foot-long skull that contained 132 teeth. What truly sets this creature on the top 10 list is that Sarcosuchus was larger than almost all of the dinosaurs that lived in the same environment, and evidence points to a diet that included large terrestrial prey. This monster ate dinosaurs. It's true that its diet consisted largely of fish and it spent most of its time submerged in the water. But the fact that it could take down something like Sokomimus at all is troubling. Which creature shocked you the most? Are there any you'd like us to delve into further in future videos? Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow enthusiasts.